a very good evening to all of you so today we are going to perform one more experiment and that is the voltage regulation of a given zener diode now a zener diode is given to you and uh, you will have to perform the voltage regulation now when we talk about the voltage regulation it means that if even if you change the line and load condition your zener diode is going to provide a constant voltage it means that the zener diode is operated in the breakdown condition and as you know that when the vz that is the zener breakdown voltage is reached a constant voltage is maintained for a particular range of the load current or you can say for a particular range of the zener current that is IZ minimum to IZ maximum. So now even if you change the line condition, when I talk about the line condition, it means that even if the input voltage is changed, the Zener voltage provides a constant voltage to the load resistance. One thing I would like to uh, share that uh, you require a minimum value of the load resistance only then your zener diode will enter into the breakdown region this is the thing which we need to understand this is already explained in the theory class of a zener diode now coming to the table that is observation table of the load regulation and line regulation now if you want to perform this experiment you need to go to uh, the every circuit software so this is the interface of the every circuit software so now in this we'll go to workspace and we will click on a create a new circuit now you can see a small interface has come in front of you so now we will be designing a circuit so this is the library of all the passive and the active elements so you require a dc voltage so a dc voltage is required then a load resistance uh, you require a series resistance suppose if you want to rotate this resistance that can be rotated uh, in this fashion there is one symbol that uh, the arrows four arrows are shown in the clock in the anti-clockwise direction so this one is 1k resistance then i think a zener diode is connected so where is the zener diode uh, just a minute it is a given the diode is given okay so the zener diode has appeared now again you just rotate the zener diode um, then you require a load resistance so a load resistance will be like this okay uh, now you need to measure the voltage across the load so we'll take uh, the help of the voltmeter now this voltmeter can record both ac and the dc voltage in this every circuit software so now again you require one more uh, voltmeter for the input voltage now just make all the connection after making all the connection so how to make the connection you just have to click uh, uh, once on this point and to the point where you will have to connect your wire so you can see here it has been connected again uh, now it is okay okay so everything has been connected so this uh, circuit should be uh, grounded properly so for that we are having a ground so now okay so this is all about the voltage regulation circuit so now you will have to perform the experiment so first we'll keep the values so if you just select the one kilo ohm resistor then uh, us then this uh, by using this symbol you can change the value of resistor in our um, experiment it is 560 ohm 
so we'll set the value of the source resistor as a 560 ohm i'm just changing the uh, value uh, 560 right now it is 560 ohm similarly you can change the voltage uh, now which uh, type of okay so i think it is 5 volt zener diode again you see uh, i will change up to the 5 volts so it is it means that it is going to um, operate at 5 volt that zener breakdown voltage is 5 volt now initially uh, if you uh, take a look at this uh, observation table the load resistance value is increased from 100 to 10 k for a different values of the input voltage it means that you will have to keep the input voltage constant for a different values of the load resistance so initially we will take uh, it as the 5 volt or let us say we will take as 10 volt so we'll keep it as 10 volt i'll um, do the readings for 10 volt and you have you will have to perform for 5 volt and 15 volt okay so now it is 10 volt so you can see here line condition is fixed but now you will have to change the load condition so this uh, this is called the load regulation even if you change the load resistance your voltage is uh, at a constant value so we can just have a look uh, so in order to start your experiment you just have to click on the t so now you can see here you can see here everything is uh, visible mm -hmm. uh, okay i need to okay now this you can see here i think it is a 4.04 milliampere uh, because we have taken load as 1 kilo ohm so we'll take the values first we will uh, have at 100 ohm first we will have the load resistance at 100 ohm so we will set it at 100 ohms uh, so now it is you can see here no current is flowing through the zener it means that the zener has not uh, reached the zener breakdown voltage so you can see uh, now it uh, the current which is flowing through the load is 15.2 milliampere as you can see that the zener has not entered into the breakdown region so no current is going to flow it means the entire source current will flow through the load resistance there will not be any current division at this node uh, so uh, this is the voltage we have obtained across the load so you can just write uh, that is 1.52 1.52 volt uh, for 100 ohm so now we will increase the value of load resistance so when you increase the value of load resistance so see what is going to happen now again wait a minute and you will arrive at this value so this is 2.63 volt now again uh, you can change the value of uh, the load resistance now we'll try to see at what uh, value you can expect the zener diode to operate now you see uh, the value is 383 it has not entered into the breakdown region just we will have to see we will have to check at what load resistance minimum load resistance is required so just say no 600 ohm is not a, a sufficient also now it has slowly slowly it has it is now entering now you can see yeah the at 630 ohm it has started so this is all about the load regulation so uh, you just have to change the value of the load resistance and accordingly you will write the output voltage value so here input voltage is maintained constant at 10 volt and the load resistance has changed so for 100 ohm write down write down the value similarly for 300 ohm write down the values and uh, on similar lines you will have to perform the load regulation for input voltage of 5 volt and 15 volt now after doing the load regulation you will have to go for the line regulation now in this case what is fixed 
in that is the one kilo ohm is fixed that is the load resistance is fixed and you will have to change the input value so in this case you just fix this load resistance value and now you just place your cursor on the input voltage and just change the value so and again note down all the readings so again you will find something is going to happen there so i think this is a better uh, exercise and you just find at what value your zener diode is entering into the breakdown uh, region this is all about the voltage regulation so if you have any doubt you can always ask me. Thanks a lot for your patience listening.